he is heading northbound on the 110 freeway, uh, heading up toward Pasadena uh, on this uh, 110 Harbor Freeway. Uh, being pursued by the Highway Patrol, we're still trying to find out what exactly sparked this to begin with. Our uh, assignment desk working to find that information out. Uh, they are certainly interested in this enough to re remain with the pursuit. We saw one earlier in the week where they backed off because of speed and uh, they decided that it wasn't the, the, the offense that was involved wasn't worth the danger to the public. So far they have deemed this one to be worth the effort and the risk that they are undertaking in order to follow this individual. Uh, again, it's a white Ford F-250 pickup truck and uh, being pursued by the uh, California Highway Patrol. About how many units are behind him, JT? Well, we see at least one, two, but what's interesting, Mark and Michelle, what's just happened is the first two units behind him actually shut down their emergency equipment. Not sure why that is. We're going to push back in to see that uh, they did shut down. Now, I don't know if they're trying to cancel the pursuit or what exactly is going on here, but the two, uh, the third and fourth unit, and well, now we're back on. So it was interesting to see. I'm not sure if they were about to shut down the pursuit. We're trying to listen here. Going northbound, coming up on Via Marisol, Highland Park area. So this is where we talked about uh, Mark and Michelle. It's really narrow, two-lane highway, very twisty through this area. Start doing all these S-turns back through here. But again, speeds are manageable, pushing 60, 70 miles per hour. Not too bad, but uh, again, a big truck. Uh, these are big trucks are very maneuver maneuverable, I should say, They're uh, the way they make them now. In fact, I drive one of these, and it's, it's a great vehicle. And they're fast. They've got the turbo in them if it's the same model I have, and they can really boogie if they need to. There's that CHP keeps shutting down his emergency equipment and then turning it back on. Not sure if he's having problems with his overhead light bar or siren, but uh, back on right now as we continue northbound on 110, coming up on Avenue 64. And this will twist and turn through South Pass and then go back into Pasadena. So we'll see what happens here. But pretty manageable speeds, as we mentioned before. I haven't seen any real evasive maneuvers or anything real dangerous sticking to one lane or two as they continue up here. It started, we picked it up pretty high speed, 70, 80 miles per hour westbound on the 10 before he transitioned to the 101 and then onto the 110 freeway mm -hmm. and uh, continuing northbound here. What's ahead of him, JT? Uh, what, in terms of this freeway, I can't remember exactly how the 110, I think it ends it up ends. there somewhere, and, uh, right? Yep. And does it end on a, on a surface? It ends on surface streets, mm -hmm. right, Michelle? Or? Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, yeah, how far away are we from that point, JT? Uh, I would say we got a couple more miles here, Michelle. Uh, we'll give you a look here in a second. We got a couple more straightaways, and then it will uh, dump into Pasadena. Um, I would say maybe another mile or two. Coming up on Orange Grove right now, uh, northbound 110. So not too much. He's going to run out of freeway. So LAPD, I'm sure, and CHP are letting Pasadena PD know that this is coming into their area. This is where that 110 freeway actually turns eastbound. Uh, right before it lets out and ends, so we're getting real close to the end of the freeway. Okay. Now, we're getting information, guys, we just heard it, that uh, has not been confirmed yet, but the possibility that the suspect is armed. Uh, and uncertain if he's wanted for other crimes involving that weapon, but they believe that he may be armed, so that brings a whole new circumstances into play here during this pursuit. Sure does, uh, and we are learning that it began in Orange County, so that Buena Park PD uh, following uh, information that we had earlier, it sounds like that is how this began in Buena Park. Continuing now in L.A. County on the 110 freeway heading north toward Pasadena. And as we talked about just a minute ago or so, this uh, freeway will eventually run out and turn into just surface streets. The 110 north does not connect with another Southland freeway. It just ends. And um, so... Uh, It'll become even more dangerous, of course, when it gets onto surface streets. Yeah, then we're so talking about he's going right to <clears throat> go ahead. So it's, it turns into yeah, a Royal Parkway, right? Yeah, a Royal Parkway is coming up next. In fact, he's through it now. Now we're on surface streets. Mm -hmm. We are uh, northbound on a Royal Parkway in the city of Pasadena. Speeds looking to be 70 plus miles per hour. So pretty fast in this area, continuing through Pasadena. We're sure that Pasadena has been notified. Now, what's interesting to us, and we're hearing that you mentioned it, is that Buena Park was following this vehicle, so it very possibly could have been a surveillance, and they decided to light it up, uh, and when they did, he ran. So, we're, okay, so we're getting information to the desk. We're trying to get information. Maybe we'll talk to the air unit overhead. We're not sure what agency is over this, but 
uh, LAPD Air Support Division is actually the air support overhead. So we're going to try to get some more information when they're available, but they're pretty busy right now. As we continue northbound Arroyo Parkway through the heart of Pasadena, Colorado, not too far up ahead, but it looks like you may be making a turn here. Yep, we're going to be eastbound on Del Mar from Arroyo Parkway. And we talked about it before, the pit maneuver may not be an option here with these smaller explorers with this big vehicle. Looks like we're going to make a turn onto northbound Marengo from Del Mar. Speeds manageable. You saw L LAPD Air Support Division go through the shot here. Don't know where he's going or where he plans to go, but this big vehicle uh, going through green lights right now. We'll see if he comes up to red. It can be very dangerous, this size and speed of this vehicle, if it makes an impact with any vehicle. Uh, obviously, any vehicle, T-boning any vehicle is, is a problem, but this one especially, a very big F-250 truck uh, king cab that's going to be a problem it is big and it is heavy does the fact that it's a pickup and does that make it a little easier to pit because the rear of the vehicle might be a little lighter but in terms of the weight distribution or am i just wrong about that well i, I would say the size of this vehicle it's if it's much higher off the ground mm -hmm. so the it, it the center of gravity is going to be much higher in the vehicles we turn on to holly eastbound this is right There's by city big, hall isn't uh, it area Mm -hmm. Yeah, this Pasadena is right near City LA Hall. City Hall, Pasad uh, Pasadena City Hall, Pasadena Police Department's right there off the right. So mm -hmm. driving right down Garfield here southbound, right by the police department. That's off the right side there. And back out to Colorado Boulevard and looking like he's going to go eastbound on Colorado. We were here just a, mm -hmm. about an hour ago for all the people lined up outside the Apple Store for the Apple 10. So we'll see all mm -hmm. those people coming in the, into frame here shortly. But uh, continuing eastbound on Colorado at Los Robles, speeds pushing 50 miles per hour right now. So manageable speeds, not too fast, but we'll see what he does when he comes to this light. He's had green lights the whole way. We haven't seen him go through a red light yet, but mm. I'm going to keep an eye on that as he continues eastbound. Right, and this is the part of Pasadena, I believe, where on a Friday night, there, these streets would be pretty crowded, uh, wouldn't they? A lot, there's a lot, all those restaurants and shops and things, and people go out through Old Town Pasadena. Uh, on any uh, given uh, Friday or weekend night, but uh, right now, so far, the streets pretty much deserted, and that is good news because you don't want anybody in harm's way as it looks like his speed is picking up a little bit. Yeah, he's uh, one up to 40. <coughs> he's making these turns on Oak Knoll and now making a turn onto Union back eastbound. That's a one-way street. And he's mm -hmm. going the wrong way on a one-way. So we're going to widen out and look ahead and make sure that he doesn't run into anybody or any traffic mm -hmm. coming. We don't see the CHP units behind him. Uh, we boy, now just a little bit here. That's Lake. Well, they are behind him, so they did follow him on the one way, but now going to be southbound on Lake. Um, that is also a one way street. Well, I don't know about that. We'll see about that. But uh, continuing southbound on Lake, speed's picking up to 40, 50 miles per hour. And uh, no, we're about back to two way street here. LAP saw LAPD air support di division going over. It's so important, something like this, not only to broadcast the pursuit. But now we lost him there for a second. We'll pick him up behind the buildings. Now he's going back westbound mm -hmm. on Green Street. Getting really tight and narrow here. We're going to try to widen out a little bit and keep up with him. Back westbound on Green Street through Pasadena. So really just circling up through through the Pasadena area. These are very narrow streets and mm -hmm. a lot of trees. So that believe that's like one-way oh, street there as well. Back westbound and eastbound one-way oh. street. Oh, boy. So wow. not a good idea here. We're going to widen out and lead him a little bit just to make sure there are no vehicles coming. We're going to try to catch up and get a better angle on him if we can. So we got a CHP helicopter is now taking over the LAPD airship. Look oh, at that. Look at that. Right between two vehicles, oh. wrong way. Uh, yeah, you don't want a big Ford F-250 coming at you the wrong way here, but at least the speeds aren't terribly fast, and some of the people see him coming and kind of getting out of the way, as you yeah. see right there. Okay, passenger side's open, two people oh. running. They oh. ran into the Tony Romas there. We're going to mark that real quick. We're going to stay with the vehicle. That was on. Oh, that's uh, we'll come back and mark that in a second. Mm -hmm. So he let two passengers out, looked like male, two males in dark clothing bailed into that area there. So I'm sure CHP will be working with Pasadena to lock that down as we continue going westbound on that one-way street, which is Green Street at Raymond. So two people out, at least obviously one person left the driver. Yeah, he dropped them off. That was that, that's uh, the Paseo Mall. It's right across the street from the Pasadena Civic Auditorium and the uh, Convention Center. Uh, and, and this is uh, in a very dangerous area. Is he stopping? Looks like he's stopping. running. There he goes. We got our there suspect running. It is a male with a gray shirt, long sleeve gray shirt, black jeans, going into a and parking black structure. shoes into the parking structure. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be right at oh 
106 West Colorado. You see CHP running it, and now the idea is to contain it. We're going to try to get it on the other side to make sure it doesn't run out the other side of the parking structure because that are very... We're going to put our streets back up so you can see that's DeLacy, Frazier Alley, Marmoreau Alley. That was the streets involved from SkyMap 7. They're going to try to keep coming around. We're going to keep orbiting to make sure he doesn't come around on the backside, but running in here, that's not him. Now, the idea is to get this contained. They're going to try to get as many officers as they can. You can see the CHP has run around the backside, so they've got at least three or four officers, but they got to get officers on each corner of this thing because it's very easy for him to pop out. In fact, we're watching very closely to make sure he doesn't pop out on either corner here. A lot of the times what they'll do, too, is they will change clothing. They'll strip the clothing down, mm -hmm. at least the shirt, maybe a, a shirt, and try to... But he was wearing a long sleeve gray shirt, black pants, and black shoes, and we know what he was wearing but if he had a t-shirt under there he may come out with a different set of clothing on other than the pants and shoes obviously mm -hmm. they're not going to change yeah if he's just changed if he strips down to a if he's got a t-shirt on it'll look a little strange to anybody because it's a cold night so that would pr probably set off some alarm bells if he does change clothes uh it, whatever it is it would be lighter than what he's got on unless he already had some kind of plan who knows We'll find out. Uh, the police are hoping to find out when they seal off this parking structure that has now ended uh, in a foot bail. The suspect bailed out on foot into that parking structure. This is in Pasadena, in downtown or Old Town Pasadena. This is uh, near about a block off of Colorado Boulevard, uh, actually near an Apple store there where people have been lining up. Those are the only people we've seen out yeah. were the people that were lined up uh, outside that Apple store waiting for the new iPhone. But uh, so far, no danger to them. What you have now is uh, police that are surrounding this uh, fairly large parking structure after uh, the suspect was seen uh, running in there. Um, and the report was initially that he may have been armed. And so that is why they're using extreme caution and also uh, being very vigorous in their pursuit of this individual. Yeah, they are still, it uh, looks like they're still searching. Uh, let's go up to JT uh, quickly. JT, uh, yep. no suspect in custody, right? None yet, Mark okay. Michelle, but we did learn from airborne law enforcement he is wanted, they're wanted for burglary, burglary suspects that are possibly armed. Mm. Okay, JT, uh, thank you for that. Our coverage will continue on ABC7.com. Uh, but for now here on ABC7, thanks for watching. Jimmy Kimmel Live is coming up next. Leslie, yeah, we're still waiting for an update from officials. Pasadena police did have many streets closed off as they searched for those suspects. But as you can see right now, all is clear. Two of those suspects did flee on foot into Paseo, Colorado, possibly the parking garage that you see here. Now, this all happened about 11 o'clock last night. Officers in pursuit of a white pickup truck. The driver going the wrong way on Green Street in Pasadena. The truck stops at one point in near Paseo, Colorado, as I mentioned, two Pasadena. Passengers seen exiting the vehicle, bailing on foot. The driver then turns right onto Lacey, abandoning the truck, and then runs into a parking garage himself there on uh, DeLacy. Officers are in pursuit just moments later. Then Air 7 also captures a person believed to be that suspect walking quickly down an alleyway. Officers did continue to search that area for hours, but right now we do believe that those suspects are still on the loose at this hour. Now, now, according to Orange